Phil, um, victory at Newcastle last week. It's a club that you've played for before. Um, is that a better victory than maybe on the surface it seems? Yeah, I think so. I think to uh, to turn around two points, only two points up, I think at half time, and then and then really put them to bed second half was tremendous for us. A uh, tough place to go and play, tough team who are you know desperate for every point they can get, and we you know we were quite clinical second half driving game. You look at guys like Tonga Weir and Dylan. Um, up front, unbelievable. So yeah, I was really pleased with that, and, and obviously to win against your old team, you saw what it meant to Tom May to score, and it's the same for Lee Dixon and Mark Sorensen and even Andy Long, who uh, wasn't playing. But you know, to, to go to your old club and, and make a point like that is good. To grab that bonus point with the last last sort of play as well. Um, against Bath, there was a disappointment of not getting the fourth try. Does that give you uh, on the flip side a boost heading into this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I think that shows that you know we can. When we stick to our guns and we uh, stick to the game plan, then we can score points. Disappointing against Bath, but Bath were group really well second half now and made us work for everything we could get. Um, so yeah, we know this weekend that we're gonna, you know, we're not worried about bonus points. We're just worried about winning games, and, and uh, if we can do that, we'll be all right. When you look at that Quinn side, it's big back row. Um, is that something you particularly relish? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, there's so many good back rows. You know, we play against Saracens and Joubert and Berger and all those guys. And Quinn's another side with loads and loads of talent. Chris Robshaw's on fire this season. Nick Easter as ever uh, is uh, having a tremendous year. So, you know, it's definitely an element of their game that they look to and, and something we're going to have to quash early on in order to get on top. You mentioned the guys like Nick Easter. Chris Robshaw's been around for a few seasons as well. When you've come up against them a few times, does it give you a better idea of what to expect? Um, yeah, I mean, everyone's played against everyone so many times now. Um, the guys have been in the league for some time. You know that Nick Easton is a tremendous ball carrier. You know that he's got ability to offload and he, uh, he likes to chip ahead now and again as well. So there's certain elements to the game that you understand from different players, but, uh, but it's always different. Every game is you know, flat out against Quinns and uh, they're uncompromising and physical at the breakdown and, uh, and that's something we're going to have to cope with. Just final word, Quinns top of the table. Um, last weekend's win moved the Saints into third place after the round. Is that something you're focusing on, chasing them down, or is it just weak? Yeah, definitely. They're runaway leaders, um, well worth all the points they've got. They've been unbelievable. Um, first half of the season, we need to make sure that we try and reel them in, and obviously that starts on Friday night. So, yeah, I mean, they, we need to get in the top four uh, at the minimum, and we need to distance ourselves from the chasing pack. And so it's a great opportunity for us to do that this weekend.